Welcome to Scholarship 365 YouTube channel, one of the world's largest opportunity network. If you haven't subscribed, click on the subscribe button and don't forget to click on the bell icon to get notified of all the latest opportunities that we will be sharing with you. Welcome back to Scholarship 365 YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to tell you all about Canada student visa in order to study in Canada. You can study on scholarships in Canada for undergraduate, master's, PhD or and you can also work in Canada. So let's see what is the complete application procedure for your Canada study visa. Actually guys, there are a lot of fake Canada immigration consultant companies offering fake services of Canada visa consultants as well as a lot of incorrect information is available on the internet but we have researched it from authentic and verified sources and we have compiled a list of all the correct information regarding student visas in Canada student visa Canada requirements and anything related to Canada visa you will get in today's video so let's move on there is a question that people might ask is studying in canada expensive there are thousands of canadian government universities colleges and schools as well as private institutes offering many international short courses undergraduate bachelor masters and phd degree programs in different fields so you can make it affordable by getting a scholarship and by working so the next question that might come in the mind of students is is canada a good place to study yes guys canada is one of the most popular place to study for international students abroad so a lot number of international crises between countries the question comes in mind is it safe to study in canada yeah so almost more than 130,000 plus international students from different parts of the world choose Canadian universities every year for their courses and degree programs. So yeah, the Canada is a good place to study. Now let's come to the main point, how to get a student visa for Canada to study in Canada. Why do we suggest you go to Canada for your bright career? Because not only of its vigorous culture and high quality education system but it also provides numerous opportunities for your bright future the three main aspects that canada and its academic institutions focus on are research scientific publications and international collaborations so how you can study in canada on study permit and student visa you don't need canada work visa to overcome your financial burden you can easily avail your student visa for Canada working hours after getting in Canada. You can work up to 20 hours per week in Canada to support yourself. And but be careful as working more than 20 hours per week is a violation of your Canada study permit conditions. So first of all, what do you need to do? Get your acceptance letter by applying to a Canadian university. Before you start your visa application process, one thing that you need to do is you need to get an acceptance letter by applying to Canadian University. So student must fulfill all student visa in Canada requirements for the success of the application process. These are some of the Canadian universities which we recommend including Brock University, Seneca College, University of Regina, Wilfred Laurier University, Mount Allison University, University of Alberta, University of Toronto, Trent University, University of Waterloo, and McGill University. Okay, guys, so in order to apply for these universities, you can click on these links and they will direct you to a new page. All the information regarding that university and scholarship program, any available for that university are given. So check these. So let's move on to the second point check if you really need to apply for a student visa in canada the official canadian study permit tool can help you find out if you really need a study visa or permit you don't need a study visa in order to study in canada if one of the condition applies to you so before applying let's check these two conditions 
First is you are a family member of a foreign representative in Canada who, who is well recognized by the Department of Foreign Affairs, Trade and Development, Canada. Your program to study in Canada lasts less than six months. You have an Indian status registered in Canada, although you are a citizen of another country. When it comes to Canadian visas, the rules are different for student visa does not allow you to enter or travel to Canada. So you need a travel visa or an electronic travel authorization. Okay guys, so let's click on this official Canada study permit tool. Here you are directed to the Canada visa site. If you need a study permit, what do you want to do? So I want to come to Canada and start studying. I'm already in Canada, I want to study. So let's select the first one. How long do you want to study in Canada? Six months or less, more than six months. Do any of these describe you? I'm a minor child. I'm a member of foreign armed force for a designated state under visiting forces act. I have registered Indian citizen in Canada. I'm a family or staff member of a foreign representative in Canada. These are all those things which I have told you already. If you have one of these above, then you don't need Canada student visa. So I will select none of these. Let's click. Yes, yeah, so you need a study permit visa. So let's moving on. The number third process is start for Canada student visa application process. Before starting, the question come to mind about Canada student visa acceptance rate. So, Canada student visa acceptance rate in 2021 was nearly 1.6 million first-time applicants from January 2016 to October 2021 is apply for a Canadian study visa and over 1 million students were approved. So, the acceptance rate for 2021 was nearly 68% and for 2022 is 60 to 70%. So comparing to that, only 30% of people got rejected for student visa in Canada. Okay, now moving on, these are the steps that you need to follow. First of all, before you arrive in Canada, apply online for your Canadian student visa on the Citizenship or Immigration Canada, CIC. In case you have a limited internet connection or cannot submit your documents online, send your Canada visa application documents by post. The number third is the student needs to provide an acceptance letter from a Canadian government recognized university. Number four is prove that you have enough financial means to support your education throughout your study period in Canada or cover Canada student visa total expenses including your stay and education. You must not have a criminal record. And the number six is submit your complete health report that proves your good health. You also need a student visa for Canada health insurance during your study in Canada. According to recent Canada visa rules, one of your family members working or applying for a work license in Canada. The application process for your study permit will complete in just two weeks you can also apply for a student visa canada extension or renew your study permit if your study program has extended you shift to another country you further wish to study at a canadian university one thing that you must note is the study permit expires 90 days after you have received a notification of your program completion you can still stay in Canada to enjoy its eye-capturing beauty or to apply for work permit. The work permit will help you to have a full-time or a part-time job or even be self-employed. So let's move on to number four. Arrange all the Canada student visa documents required. So before start, you must need to read the checklist for Canada student visa. First is that you need to complete the student visa application form. A letter of acceptance from Canadian universities recognized by the government. A valid passport with at least two blank pages. Two passport size photographs with name and date of birth mentioned on the back. Proof of enough financial means to support your education which means 10,000 to 11,000 Canadian 
per year a letter of resolution you will need a certificate acceptance do chubek english and french translations of your document a statement from the translator a certified copy of the original document if you are planning to study in chubek the next step is to pay canadian student visa fee which is 150 Number fifth point is language requirement for Canada study visa. The next question that come to your mind is what are Canada student visa IELTS requirements? English language skill is not included in the documents required for the study permit application process unless you come from a non-English speaking country. In all other cases, Canadian university will demand you an English language proficiency certificate. Accepted language tests are IELTS. PTE C1 advanced you can click on these links and you will be directed to these number 6 is you need to do a biometric appointment and interview schedule you might have to show up at a visa application center in your country to have your matrix taken depending on your nationality the canada student visa biometric fee is about 85 that is an additional fee along with a regular visa application fee so must know this there are some countries that don't need any biometric requirements but for some countries you don't need to go to the application center for biometric verification but you need to check with your embassy number 7 point is time is taken by a canadian study permit we want to answer your question about student visa for canada processing time it is usually faster but a canadian study permit contain up to 90 days after applying for it this somehow also depends on the situation in your home country student or extreme can help you get your study permit faster so this is available for these countries china india morocco pakistan the philippines senegal vietnam so the number 8 point is now you need to get the scholarships in canada for international students if you want to yourself to be financed as many universities in Canada offer you with undergraduate and graduate scholarship programs so these are all the universities which are offering you with some scholarships yes guys that's how you get these scholarships by applying here and um, that's it for today's video i hope you like this video please give this video lots of love and a lots of thumbs up I will see you in next video. Take care. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and join our social media networks. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook and join us on Telegram. All the links are given in description.